Warm welcome you all to channel Meet MIT that is math is tricky. Okay, how do you find derivative of such type of function? Let's see. First, derivative of suppose you have to find uh, derivative of sine inverse x. So how will you solve it? Okay, so for this see the solution the solution will be here starting this way let sine inverse x equals y then we can write x equals sine y differentiating both sides will get here dx by dx equals d by dx of sine y now let's use chain rule dx by dx equals now here it is d sine y by dy times dy by dx now we can write left hand side becomes 1 because derivative of x with respect to x is 1 and equals that equals right hand side derivative of sine is here cos y times dy by dx now we can write here 1 by cos y equals dy by dx that is now we can write here cos y means 1 minus sine square y that equals dy by dx and therefore we can write here dy by dx equals simply it is here 1 by 1 minus x square because x is first you can simply write here x equals sine y it means here derivative of sine verse x is simply 1 by 1 minus x square similarly let's see how we are finding derivative of for cos inverse x okay so in this video i'll be mostly talking about how to find derivative of inverse circular function okay so question number two let's take here uh, another question and uh, that is finding derivative of cos inverse x what is the answer as before let's start like this let uh, cos inverse x equals y that gives or we can write here x equals cos y as before let's differentiate both sides by with respect to x so we will get here dx by dx that gives d cos y by dy times dy by dx i'm using chain on i'm using here chain rule in right hand side now left hand side become one and this is derivative of cos is minus sine y then dy by dx therefore you can write here dy by dx equals minus 1 by sine y also further we can simplify uh, like this dy by dx equals minus 1 by sine y can be written as 1 minus cos square y this gives here minus 1 by 1 minus x square this is our derivative final answer is this that means we can write here derivative of cos inverse x with respect to x will be simply minus 1 by 1 minus x squared please be with me i'll be sharing very super fast trick to remember the formulas in a very easy way okay so this is derivative of cos inverse x that is derivative of cos inverse x x is simply 1 by 1 minus x square let's see another question and let me solve it for you now i'm going to explain now i'm going to solve how to find i'm going to share the idea or the process to find derivative of tan inverse x okay so let's take another example question number three you can see here so derivative of tan inverse x what is our answer okay so as before let's start 
let uh, y equals 10 inverse x then we can write 10 y equals x differentiating both sides with respect to x we'll get here d 10 y by dx equals dx by dx which gives here now let's use same rule in left hand side so that we'll get here 10 y by dy times dy by dx equals 1 that gives a derivative of 10 is sec square y into dy by dx equals 1 uh, let's simplify further so dy by dx will be equal to 1 by sec square y uh, this can be simplified as dy by dx equals how much sec square means 1 plus 10 square y therefore we can write here derivative of 10 inverse x is simply here 1 by 1 plus 10 square y means we can write here x square so we can write here finally we can write here derivative of 10 inverse x is simply 1 by 1 plus x square this is our answer hope you understood this and hope you are getting whatever i'm doing for you it's all for you if you practice in the same way a number of times i'm sure you'll be able to solve this type of problem within just seconds let me take another function and find its derivative so let's suppose here a uh, cot inverse x suppose you have to find derivative of cot inverse x so what will be its answer i'm going to solve it for you uh, please be with me let's start like this let y equals cot inverse x then we can write here cot y equals x differentiating both sides will get here d cot y by dx equals dx by dx which gives uh, d cot y by dy times dy by dx just i'm using chain rule in left hand side and right hand side becomes one now let's simplify this so derivative of cot is minus cosec square y dy by dx equals 1 uh, this gives here dy by dx equals simply here minus 1 by cosec square y this can be simplified as dy by dx equals minus 1 by cosec square y means 1 plus cot square y and then we'll be getting here dy by dx equals that is our final answer minus 1 by 1 plus x square this is our answer hope you are getting this let me solve another question for you and explain it in an easy way okay in an easy way so hope you are understanding this if you have any confusion please don't hesitate to ask me and share with me if you like this video please share this among your friends uh, let's find derivative of sec inverse x what's its answer now as before let's just start in this way let y equals sec inverse x then we can write sec y equals x differentiating both sides with respect to x will be getting here sec y d sec y by dx equals dx by dx this you'll see in the left hand side d sec y by dy times dy by dx equals 1 now let's simplify further to get the answer so derivative of sec y is sec y 10y into dy by dx is there equals 1 now we can write here dy by dx equals 1 by sec y 10y and if we simplify further we can write like this 
dy by dx equals 1 by sec y you can see here it is x now for 10 we can write here sec square y minus 1 therefore we have the final answer as 1 by x times square root of x square minus 1 this is our final answer now let me solve one more problem for you uh, that is uh, how to find derivative of cosec inverse x then i'll be sharing very important points about this inverse circular function and their derivative so question number six uh, suppose we have to find derivative of cosec inverse x so what's its answer you may be interested in finding the derivative of cosec inverse x so this is what i'm going to do uh, please do with me and then you'll get the full solution for it uh, let's start like this let y equals cosec inverse x then we can write here cosec y equals x let's differentiate both sides with respect to x so that we'll get here uh, derivative of cosec y by dx equals dx by dx or we can write here d cosec y by dy times dy by dx equals 1 now if we should find further we'll be getting here derivative of cosec is minus cosec y cot y times dy by dx equals 1 so that we can write here dy by dx equals minus 1 by cosec y times cot y uh, let's simplify further to get the final answer that is here minus 1 by cosec y is simply here you can see it is x x times square root of cot y can be written as here cosec y uh, cosec square y minus 1 so that our final answer is simply minus 1 by x times square root of x square minus 1 this is our final answer x with respect to x is here simply 1 by 1 minus x square so number 2 derivative of cos inverse x with respect to x is simply here minus 1 by 1 minus x square number 3 derivative of tan inverse x is uh, 1 by 1 plus x square if it is differentiated with respect to x number 4 derivative of cot inverse x with respect to x is minus 1 by 1 plus x square the fifth one is derivative of sec inverse x with respect to x will be 1 by x x square minus 1 then sixth one is derivative of cosec inverse x with respect to x will be minus 1 by x times x square minus 1 okay uh, before applying these formulas let me share on some few points about this that is very important for you okay first one you can see uh, three formulas here this is negative this is negative and this is negative so first point is here if you see the first one uh, if it is start with c start with c start with c the derivative of Degree ratios inverse circular function which start with C will always give a negative result. Negative result, negative that means DC will be always negative. Remember in this way derivative of circular function which start with C. Okay, second point if you see carefully, first and second, third and fourth, fifth and sixth, they just differ in minus sign they just differ in sign okay so if you know one you can easily write for second one okay how to know that that means sign and cos remember 
they will differ by this sign so tan and cot another is simply sec and cosec okay they will be differing the result will be differing but just by sign so as already we discussed one which start with c will be negative so in this way it will be easy for you to remember then third one point see here to use this formula the angle and the base must be same that means the trigonometric function must be differentiated with respect to its angle remember here this angle this base must be same angle base must be same that means uh, trigonometric function must be differentiated differentiated with respect to its angle okay then only we can use the formula third point number four if you see carefully see this fourth point is everywhere the power is one everywhere power is one everywhere power is one as in case of derivative of trigonometric function here also the trigonometric function must contain one as its power then only there must be they must be linear in that means power must be power must be one and eh? so that's the point you have to note down now a fifth point if we talk another point is here be careful while writing the formula see here in case of sine it is 1 minus sine square x in case of sec and cosec it is x square minus 1 so for sine and cos it will be 1 minus x square for sec and cosec it will be x square minus 1 because uh, we can remember in this way also uh, because for sine and cos the formula is like this the formula is 1 minus sine square x which gives cos square x and then 1 minus cos square sine square x for sec and cosec the formula is sec square x minus 1 and tan square x minus 1 these are few points which are very very important for you all to use while solving the problems you must know these points while solving the problems let me solve some problems uh, using these formulas these all formulas will be used to solve the problem so let me solve some problems for you and explain it so hope you are enjoying this video question number one first suppose you have to find derivative of derivative of sine inverse 3x minus 4 as i told you be careful see the angle here this angle is for sine inverse x the angle is 3x minus 4 but here we are differentiating with respect to x so we can't use the formula in first step so we have to manage this so like write like this sine inverse x 3x minus 4 by first uh, write the angle here in base 3x minus 4 now to balance this we'll write here 3x minus 4 by dx so that will be getting answer now we can use formula for sine inverse x it is here 1 minus 1 minus x square x square root of this and derivative of this is 3 so answer will be simply 3 by 1 minus 1 minus 3x minus 4 whole square that's your answer hope you are getting this let me solve another question for you and explain it for you so suppose you have to find derivative of number two derivative of cos inverse 4x cube minus 3x this is very important for a question for you and it's tricky also in this type of problems rather than just uh, making angle and base same we'll try to substitute in this case because by substitution it is going to be more easier okay so let here 
uh, put if we put here x equals cos a then we'll be getting here then it becomes here then we can write here simply if we suppose let uh, right like right like here this so suppose you have to find a uh, derivative of this so let here cos inverse 3x of 4x cube minus 3x equals y then we can write here y equals cos inverse 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a if we put here uh, x equal cos a let's put this so that we'll be getting here y equals how much cos inverse now this is the formula for cos 3a 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a means cos 3a now we can write here y equals 3a that is 3 cos value of a is here simply cos inverse x cos inverse x now dy by dx gives simply here 3 times derivative of cos inverse x so just i have given the formula use that formula and it is here minus 3 by 1 minus x squared easily you got the first point. in this way what it becomes here by cos inverse 3x squared minus 2 by 2 then therefore we can write here dy by dx equals d cos inverse 3x squared minus 2 by 2 by dx so to use formula we'll make this angle this angle and this same so let's write like this cos inverse 3x square minus 2 by 2 by d 3x square minus 2 by 2 into d 3x square minus 2 by 2 by dx so that we can now write formula for this uh, derivative of cos inverse x is minus 1 by 1 minus x square means 3x square minus 2 by 2 whole square and this there is a square root and derivative for this will be simply here 3 derivative of x square is 2x derivative of 2 is 0 so it will be here 2 3x so if we simplify further be getting here this as minus 3x minus 3x by let's simplify this inside the root it will be how much 1 minus it is simply here 9x square and then it will be 3 to the 6 6 to the 12 minus 12x minus 4 by 4 if we simplify further 3x then we will get here take LCM 4 minus 9x square minus plus 12x plus 4 and then it will be here by 2 so that we be getting here minus this 2 will go up so it will be 6x by we can write here this 4 and here minus minus plus so we can write here sorry it, it is going to be here plus so it will be here minus plus minus cancel so we can get here 12x minus 9x square so what we can do here let's say uh, sorry uh, i've done some mistake here the mistake is here it will be x power 4 it will be x square x power 4 x square so it gives here x square x power 4 so that we can take here common minus 6x by uh, if we take here common 3 is yes common so 3 root 3 will be there x is x square is common so remaining will be so taking here 3 x square common so it will be here 3 4 4 minus is here 3 3 is a 9 x square so we can see here this and this cancelled so that the remaining answer will be final answer will be at last we'll be getting uh, this agents are dy by dx equals minus 6 by root 3 times 
4 minus 3x square. Uh, let's just like this so that we'll be getting here into root 3 by root 3. So it is here minus 6 root 3 by 3 a square root of 4 minus 3x square. So you can cut this. So answer is minus 2 root 3 by 4 minus 3x square. That's your final answer. Okay. So let me solve another question for you. Hope you are understanding this. Whatever I'm explaining, hope you're enjoying this. So if you like this, don't hesitate to share with your friends. Okay. Number two, for two, let's write here. Let y equals 10 inverse 1 by 5x minus 3. Then we can write here dy by dx. Let's use chain rule in right hand side so that you'll be getting here d 10 inverse 5x minus 3. Just I'm changing its power so that it will be easy to write d 5x minus 3 whole power minus 1 times d 5x minus 3 whole power minus 1 by d 5x minus 3 plus right here d 5 here minus 5x minus 3 by dx so that we can write here derivative of 10 inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square that is 5x minus 3 whole power minus 2 derivative of uh, this is let's use power rule so minus 1 5x minus 3 minus 1 minus 1 then derivative of this is simply 5 so if you simplify this we'll be getting here 1 by 5x minus 3 whole square plus 1 and then derivative will come in numerator and it will be here 5x minus 3 whole square times it is simply here minus 1 by 5x minus 3 whole square so this and this cancel remaining is 5 so that we, we are getting here minus 5 by 1 plus 5x minus 3 whole square that's our answer okay uh, let's solve another question so question number 3 and then see what we are getting okay so question number 3 I'm trying to solve for you so let here y equals sec inverse tan x okay so then we can write here dy by dx as d sec inverse tan x so let's use the end rule so this should be here d tan x times d tan x by dx so that will be getting answer as derivative of sec x is simply 1 by remember x and x square minus 1 x means here 10 x and simply 10 square x minus 1 derivative of 10 x is sec square x so our answer is simply uh, we can write this as mm, 10 is sine by cos so we can write here let's simplify this so we can write 10 means here okay let's write here 1 by sine x and then by cos x or 10x and 10 square x minus 1 so we can say sec square means 1 by cos square x so on this cancel so it will be simply we can write this as 1 by sine x cos x times 10 square x minus 1 inside there or we can leave here also that's our answer so let's move to question number 4 so I hope you are understanding it's not difficult I just say you need to practice a number of times to get the answer within second or to solve the problem in faster way you need to practice okay question number Oh, four. So let's write here. Let y equals sine inverse one minus two x square. Okay. Then we can write 
dy by dx equals okay uh, it is simply d sine inverse 1 minus 2x square by here simply d let's use the same rule 2x square times d 1 minus 2x square by dx so derivative of sine inverse x is 1 by 1 minus x square 1 minus x square means square of this okay derivative of this will be 0 and then it is here minus 4x so what can be done let's simplify minus 4x by how much you'll get here if we simplify 1 minus here simply to let's use a minus b whole square so it is here 1 minus 4x square then plus it will be simply 4x power 4 so by simplification we'll be getting here minus 4x by minus minus cancel so it will be here 4x square minus 4x power 4 so let's write the final answer to solve this now what we can do here we can take here 4x square common so that will be getting here dy by dx equals minus 4x by if you take here 4x square common the remaining is 1 minus x square inside the root so that will be getting here 5 minus 4x by it is simply 2x square root of 1 minus x square so x and x cancel so simply answer will be minus 2 by 1 minus x square that's your answer okay so this is our final answer just we need to simplify and to get the final answer okay so question number five let's move to question number five question number five let here y equals cos inverse one minus x square by one plus x square in this problem uh, we'll try to substitute x so that it may be reduced to some of the formulas in terms of cos so for that i'm putting here put x equals 10 a then we can write here y equals cos inverse 1 minus 10 square a by 1 plus 10 square a in this way it will be easy to differentiate so cos inverse x and this is the formula for cos 2a so that we'll be getting here y equals 2a which is 2a means simply we can see here a is 10 inverse x therefore our answer will be dy by dx equals 2 derivative of 10 inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square that is 2 by 1 plus x square that's our answer right? okay y is uh, let me solve another question 10 inverse 1 by 1 minus x square so dy by dx will be how much it is simply d tan inverse 1 by 1 minus x square so we are using chain rule for this so it will be simply 1 by 1 minus x square into d or we can write here 1 minus x square power minus 1 by d 1 minus x square then d1 minus x square by dx okay so derivative for 10 plus x is 1 by 1 plus x square means 1 by 1 minus x square whole square then derivative for this 1 minus x square power minus 1 will be simply uh, minus 1 into 1 minus x square whole power minus 2 and then it is derivative of this is minus 2x so if we simplify we'll be getting like this 1 minus x square whole square by 1 minus x square whole square plus 1 then it is simply 2x by 1 minus x square whole square so these two cancel and final answer will be simply 2x by 
1 plus 1 minus x square or less square. Okay, so this is what is our final answer. This is another question. Let's move to question number 7. Question number 7. Question number 7 is here. Number 7 now. Let here y equals this tan inverse sine 2x by 1 plus cos 2x. Simplify this, then we can write here y equals tan inverse sine 2x means 2 sine x cos x by 1 plus cos 2 means 2 cos square x. 2 and 2 cancels, cos and cos cancels, so it is here y equals tan inverse. This is sine by cos means tan x, so y equals x. Therefore, dy by dx equals ax by dx, that is 1. This is our answer. Now, let's move to question number 8. So, uh, please, uh, this is all about practice and your hard work. If you practice and do hard work, obviously, you can solve the problems uh, faster in a faster way. Let's see question number 8. Let here y equals sec inverse 1 by 1 minus x square. I think in this case, we can use the method of substitution. So, let's substitute like this put here x equals sine a then what we are getting here y equals sec inverse 1 by 1 minus sine square a so that gives y equals sec inverse this is simply 1 by 1 minus cos sine square means cos square square of cos square is cos so it is here 1 by cos a or we can write here y equals sec inverse it is here sec a that is y equals a because a is simply here sine inverse x therefore we can write here dy by dx will keep here derivative of sine inverse x with respect to x it is simply 1 by 1 minus x squared. Okay, this is also solved question number 8. Oh, hope you are understanding this. If you like this video, please encourage me. Uh, to encourage me, please share this video among your friends, among your friends, among your circle, among your relatives, among your family. Okay, to your family also, you can share this. And then you can encourage me. Okay, let here y equals for question number 9 uh, tan inverse 2x by 1 minus x square. In this case, also uh, we can use method of substitution. Uh, put like this put x equals tan a, then we'll get here y equals tan inverse 2 tan a by 1 minus tan square a which gives here y equals tan inverse 2 tan a by 1 minus tan square means tan 2a so it gives here y equals 2a that gives 2a means simply here tan inverse x so that we'll be getting dy by dx as 2 tan d tan inverse x by dx and that's simply here 2 by 1 plus x square because derivative of tan square a uh, tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square let me solve the last question for today the question is here number 10 it is simply number 10 date here y equals sine inverse 3x minus 4x. In this case also, we can use the method of substitution. Put like this here, y equals 
let's put here y equals uh, sorry uh, x equals let's put here this question can be solved by method of substitution it will be easy also so let's put here x equals sine a then we'll be getting y as sine inverse sine 3 sine a minus 4 sine q a and it gives here y equals sine inverse sine 3 a it gives here y equals 3 a so it gives here 3 a means sine inverse x so therefore we'll get dy by dx as 3 d sine inverse x by dx and it gives here 3 by 1 minus x square that's our answer hope you understood this and if you have any confusion please ask me write it in comment and also i request you all to mention your interested topic so that i'll be uploading many more videos according to your interest thank you so much for watching my video i hope you like this video please do share this video with your friends in your circle in your social media and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much god bless you